Okay, girl. So. It's time. It's time for me to wash my hair again. What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Taylor, and today I'm going to be sharing my updated wash day routine. It's pretty much the same, but I'm going to be doing a different pre poo instead of using coconut oil like I usually do. I'm going to be using this, but we'll get into that in a second. So, it has been about three weeks since I washed my hair. Has it been? I don't even know. I don't even recall the last time I washed my hair. Was it right before Super Bowl weekend? No. I think it might have been. Has it been that long? I don't even recall. I know I didn't wash my hair two weeks ago. Did I? I think I did. I think. I don't know. Don't get me to lying. But I know it's been a while. My scalp is feeling a little itchy. It's time for me to wash it. Let's just check out the current state. It is in just a little raggedy ponytail. Um, It looked better yesterday. Oh yeah, it has been what? August? September? October? November? December? January? February? It's been seven months since, almost seven months. It's been seven months since I got my big trim, big chop, mini big chop, whatever. Cause I got that hefty trim. If y'all have not seen the video of me talking about it, go ahead and check that out. I have not done a length check in a while. So I'm going to be doing that today as well. So this is just the current state my hair is in. I did a slick back so-called slick back ponytail before I went to the gym yesterday. I say so-called slick back because I always find it hard to slick my hair back because even after I lay it down with a head scarf or something. But I'm just gonna give a quick rundown about, I guess, a hair update. Um, should I be doing my hair while I'm talking about I should? Let's do that. All right. So, before I get into like a hair update or whatever, this is what I'm going to be using to pre my hair. I used to use this for actual conditioner back in the day because this stuff right here used to have such amazing like slip. I love the smell. I love the convenience of the bottle that it's in. You know, don't have to worry about tilting it upside down. It's literally just the perfect setup. Is this the same one? This has avocado oil in it. I don't know if the one back in the day had avocado oil in it. I keep saying back in the day, but I really mean about like five or six years ago. I guess that's back in the day. I don't know. Yeah, I used to use this all the time as actual conditioner. And then, yeah, it used to work really well, get all the tangles out. And I just decided to get a cheap or inexpensive conditioner to pre poo my hair instead of just using coconut oil. For one, because I know this is going to give it more of like a pre poo treatment or conditioning instead of just coconut oil because it's just oil. So I decided to use this and see if it works as well as it used to because I feel like if I moisturize my hair more before I strip it with the shampoo, then it will bank me and be less dry. Let's just jump right on into it and then we'll get into the hair update. All right, so y'all see this little piece right here, yeah. Um, It broke off like two months ago or something and that's how much it's grown out. Before it was obviously like half this length. But I don't know why it broke off. And it's kind of weird because when I put it in a ponytail, where'd it go? All right, now it wants to lay down. Well, yesterday when I was doing my hair, it did not want to lay down. So that's whatever. Yeah, a little hair update. One thing that I have noticed since I got my hair cut was my hair has like started thickening up. And I've always, well, one, ever since, Jeez, I just don't know where to start. Ever since I went natural, my hair was thick, like super thick. Because when my hair was relaxed, it was thin and it was short. But as soon as I have I when I was relaxed, my hair wasn't that thick. And I just thought I didn't have thick hair. Um, I don't have the thickest hair now. Like, it's still fine. But it's, like, thick but fine, you know? So, yeah. When my hair was at... You know, it's just been distraction on distraction as I've been trying to do my hair. Um, where was I? Yeah, I don't remember where I was. So, I'm just gonna... Going. Yeah, well, my hair was at its top tier health right as I was pregnant and right after I gave birth. Wow, this thing is real good. <laughs> 
Yikes. Yeah, my hair was like super duper thick and like the thickest it's ever been since I went natural because like I said, it was super healthy. And yeah, it just thinned out and got sparse once again as it had started getting damaged and then once it got really bad to where I had to go ahead and get it all cut off, the damaged part. The rest of my hair still did not feel as, um, see how convenient that is? Like, why aren't all conditioner bottles like this? Mm, it smells just as good as it used to. After I got it cut, and obviously my hair wasn't as thick because it wasn't as long, but now as it's growing out, like I said, it's been seven months since I got it cut. Let me just... I'm gonna detangle it and then I'm gonna give like a quick life check. The one thing about this conditioner, it always defines the curls. So, collarbones right here. This is where I got it cut to back in August. It's March now, March the 15th. So, yeah, I guess a couple inches maybe. Yeah, so that's like what, two and a half inches maybe i'm super excited to finally be seeing like my growth like my high puff that i wear on top of my head it's finally looking thicker and fuller but not as thick as it was like as i was in high school or, like right after i graduated high school my hair was even thicker back then than it is now which is really crazy to me because i always thought my hair was not as healthy because i used to swim on the swim team i would go to swim practice four to five days a week and you know obviously i'm swimming in chlorine and I just thought that my hair was just so super unhealthy. So yeah, now my hair is thickening back up. I've also been taking biotin, but I felt like it was making me retain water. So I got scared of taking it because I'm like, I was taking biotin and a lot of other supplements that made me retain water all at once. Like I had just started them out of nowhere and I was getting real insecure because I'm like, what in the world? I'm like gaining weight, but it was like water weight and I was super bloated and I did not feel good about my body. And so I just take it here and there i used to take it like every single day for like not even a month and then i stopped but like i said i've been noticing that my hair has gotten a bit thicker looking fuller and definitely longer but like i said it has been more than half a year since i got it cut so let's hope that it's starting to grow out so yeah that's the update i feel like it's time for me to get another trim because it has been a while and um trying to contemplate whether or not i should just not worry about about trying to trim it myself and just wait for my next silk press because that's what I usually do but my sister who lives in Georgia usually does my silk presses and obviously I don't have access to her in Texas so I'm just probably gonna wait and just try to do what I can to keep my hair healthy and growing out so that when it's time for me to get a trim and if I do have to get a couple inches off then I'll still have a lot more inches left on my head instead of like two or three yeah that's really it I think I've been doing what I've been supposed to do well I said that wrong I think I've been doing what I'm supposed to be doing don't know how to really say that to keep my hair healthy and get it back healthy I don't know if I'm gonna steam my hair tonight I've been doing that every single time I wash my hair for the longest time but I'm washing my hair later in the evening tonight so I don't know if I'm going to get around to doing that but I usually steam it every single time I do it I have not done the aloe vera treatment in a very long time one of these days I'm going to do the whole shebang the aloe vera steam treatment I'm just trying to figure out what I should do to my hair because it's kind of scientifically proven that every time I after every wash day when my hair is freshly washed my hair is like scientifically proven to not come out good after I wash my hair if I do not blow dry it whether I do a twist out or a braid out just because like my strands just need time to like loosen back up because they get so tightly wound I guess whenever it gets soaking wet and I just have to stretch them back out for my hair to not look like I got a three inch cut every wash day but anyways let's go ahead and get into this side okay curl it won't stay too much conditioner it really won't stay so it's like right there my whole head was pretty much like right at my collarbone so it looks like it's grown maybe like an inch to an inch and a half right there okay it's 
um before it used to like barely pass my chin i feel like this side is longer than the other side because that's how it looks it's kind of hard to do a length check with this conditioner in my hair that like keeps slipping yeah so this side is definitely longer than the other side so yeah like i said the front of my hair definitely has experienced the most growth in the last seven months all right all the conditioner is in my hair and yeah let's get ready to wash it and as always i am going to be using my miguel rosemary mint shampoo and the Mio Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. So yeah, let's get to washing. Why am I acting like this today? I don't know. I feel like I'm a little cracked out. Oh yeah, and I'm also going to be drawing my hair on this old t-shirt. I like to draw my hair with t-shirts because it's better than a towel because you know the towel got all them little fibers and stuff that like to grab and snag on your hairs and create split ends and such and that's not what we're going for, okay? So I always just use the old t-shirt because you can't go wrong. So yeah, let's just go on ahead and get to washing. Hello and welcome to my kitchen sink. Okay, so now I'm in the kitchen about to wash my hair. Back door's wide open trying to cool the house off for free. So yeah, let's just go on ahead, untwist these twists and get to washing. Hello and welcome back to my bathroom. All right, so I'm going to be applying the deep conditioner in the bathroom just so I can make sure that all my strands are coated and everywhere. And I like to go in and comb it out. Then of course I gotta let it sit. I'm gonna end up putting a bag on it today. I usually just steam it for the time I would let the conditioner sit in my head. But I'm just going to put a plastic bag on it today and let my body temp steam it today. But really I am just trying to try everything I used to do back in the day when my hair was super healthy. And like I said, I used to pre-poo with conditioner. It was a Tresemme conditioner I had for literally like five years. And I would use that. And then I would just shampoo and condition like normal. And then I would blow dry my hair and then put it in braids for braid out. Yeah, I would only wash my hair literally once a month. I went pre-poo in between or anything or co-wash, I meant to say, in between. And like I said, my hair was super duper healthy. But at the same time, I was not sweating and my scalp wasn't getting dirty like it is now. So yeah, I'm about to get a plastic bag, put it on my head. That sounds so bad. I'm not about to put it over my head. I'm gonna put it all on my hair. All right, so we got our bag here. I usually keep my hair untwisted, but I'm just gonna leave them in the twist today. Just because, where should I take them out? What do y'all think? I'm gonna leave them in. All right, so now we're just gonna let that sit. It's 18 right now. We're gonna let it sit for however long I feel is necessary. And I will see y'all when it's time to rinse it out. Okay. All right, so. Conditioner is all rinsed out. And now I'm about to put some leave-in conditioner on my hair using the Miel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner. And just going to put my hair in about six Bantu knots just to stretch it out and get my hair ready to be braided um, and plaits for braid out. I'd say I can notice a difference from using the conditioner versus just the coconut oil as my pre-poo. But yeah, let me just go on ahead and throw these Bantu knots in my hair. Alright, so 
so I look like Shrek right now with my little bantu knots with like ears. But now I'm just going to let these bantu knots sit in my hair until after dinner. I know it's not gonna be dry by then because I put a decent amount of leave-in conditioner in there. Now I'm just gonna let the leave-in conditioner soak in and see if it makes a difference in how my hair comes out. I'm hoping it does because I've been looking for a solution to help my styles come out better after I wash my hair without having to blow dry it. So it is 12, 18 right now. It has been four hours almost since I put these bantam knots in my hair. They're still moist in the middle, but I'm just going to go ahead and turn these six bantam knots into 12 braids. I'm just gonna use my shea butter and that is it. couple of days later I did not take out my hair yesterday because it was very humid outside because it was rainy all day so I just decided to wait till today as you can see it's nice and bright and sunny out so I'm going to go ahead and take my braids out and see how my hair came out all right so this is how my hair came out I haven't looked at the back so I don't know if it's flat Anyways, let's just focus on the front. Uh, I think the curls look good. Um, it's definitely moisturized. If anything, I might have put just a smidge of too much product on it. So next time I do it, I'm just going to go light on the product and just mainly just spray with water before I braid it again. But I'm trying to figure out the shape. I didn't part it right, so I had to like fix my part. And I hate having to go in and do that after. Yeah, I don't think it made a difference to put the Bantu knots in first. But I honestly needed like an intermission from doing my hair, so that was like good intermission just leaving them in bed to nuts but yeah it's definitely moisturized and I'm going to continue to pre-poo with conditioner and just keep going in with my same routine tweaking it here and there once I do I will give another updated video on what I'm doing differently and I am happy about the growth that I've had these past seven months with my hair and yeah can't wait to see how long my hair is one year post big trim big chop whatever i don't know what to call it because i feel like a big chop is like when you start it all over but yeah i just want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe stay tuned follow me along on my journey for rolling my hair back out and you know one day the goal is to get to waist length but see how long that takes y'all just have to subscribe and stay tuned you know next year i could be at waist length and you never know if you're not subscribed but anyways i will see you guys in my next video.